So the hunt for the ladybird killer is on, and we still haven't found any more leads. Hey, everybody. Howdy. Live on 6th Street, Kill Tony Alley, grilling up, they're grilling up hot dogs right behind us. Yeah, there's somebody in one of these apartments. Another comic sent me a video. He's like, hey, I'm watching you guys. <laughs> I'm watching you. Really cryptic. It's been a lot of fun. I think we're going to end up losing Celia to Texas. You are. I'm going to move here in two months. Two months. She's already got a countdown going. Watch out for Celia. Yeah, book me while you still can, bitches. Book her ass. Um, been having a lot of fun all week here. Last week, we uh, did the Kill Tony thing. Celia fell asleep in the alley. Everybody took pictures with her, like a tourism thing. Yeah, like a <laughs> We made a few bucks off of her. She doesn't know. I feel less bad now that I came here with nothing. <laughs> uh, one more night, right? Unless, one more night. unless one of us gets picked for, for a Thursday spot. We're already signed up for some Tuesday spots. Might have to leave them. I'd like to send a shout out to our sponsors on this tour. My little brother with his eggs. He's, he sent me like a 24 pack of a homegrown chicken eggs, man. Brown eggs. Uh, Mom with the chilies and tortillas. JG Entertainment. Hit them up for your DJ needs. <laughs> or eggs. <laughs> uh, it's getting crazy right here. We're about to start the, they're about to start drawing names. They just yell it out over a bullhorn. And then you have to run on your ass on stage without knowing anything that's been happening during the show. All kinds of walks of life out here. We ran into some comics from Corpus and San Antonio already tonight. It's pretty lively out here. It's like a talent show going on. <laughs> You're nervous for Kill Tony? You'll do great. We just did a one minute mic before this and you did great at that. What up, Billy? What's up, guys? He's a, a lucky guy, Billy. Say, say what's up. I used to be in Phoenix. Billy yep. Griffin here. He got picked last week. Twice. Yep, Billy Ray Griffin. So we're, rubbing, we're rubbing his belly for good luck this week. Oh, this time. <laughs> let's get on it again. Representing the West Valley in Florida. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Here's another one of our sponsors, Billy. He's been buying us beers. <laughs> he bought me a hot dog last night. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Uh, also sponsored us with a beer. Hell, yeah. <laughs> yes. Much love, and I love you guys, my West Valley family. Thank you guys so much. And uh, Billy's new here to Austin, too. Yeah. Already working, grinding. Yeah. What are you doing again? Sidewall? Uh, <laughs> restaurant work. Restaurant work. Yeah. You're a cook, right? Yep, cooking. Oh, you get down. Yeah, I'm getting down burgers, slinging burgers. Should have brought the damn grill wings, out here, stuff man. Like that. I'm no stranger to alley grilling. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we know for next time. Yeah, right? Yes. Bring the damn grill. Bring a George Foreman out here. Yep. I'll bring my air fryer. <laughs> <laughs> air fryer some hard-boiled eggs. <laughs> my uh, specialty. Yeah. Now we just got two pieces of bread and wish we had a sandwich called West Sandwiches. <laughs> Agua sandwiches? Sugar Wish, sandwich? Yeah, sugar sandwiches are the best. A little <laughs> bit of mayonnaise. <laughs> Hell yeah. You liking it down here so far? Yeah, I love it down here. Atmosphere is great. Everyone's awesome. So, yeah, definitely. Electricity's in the air. Yes. Yes. Hell yeah. Yep. No, like I seriously feel it's like, it's like a calm before the storm. Feel the hairs on the back of my ass raising up. Yeah. I can say it. <laughs> They're doing a bunch of different interview podcasts popping up now. We thought we'd do ours. It's like a green room. We grew up talking the green room, I guess, before, but this is kind of a green alley, right? <laughs> Biggest green room ever. The green alley. Green alley. The green half mile. Hot the dog green, alley. The green alley with the green cards. Just waiting for the food trucks to catch on and then just start parking. Yeah, there was a guy giving away uh, donuts yesterday, man. He was... Feeding all, I thought they were like laxative donuts. He was gonna try to sabotage the, the open mic, make oh, all the comics go home. Oh yeah, Stella did good at yes, the com yes. mothership. She performed at the she little boy. She it. And uh, she got on the Sunset Strip too. Represent that. Yes. And then sad this past Saturday, that was uh, fun. Alamo Draft House. She got a spot there. She got me a spot too. That was dope. Oh hell yeah. Yep. 
also got a fun blind tiger and got her girl. Oh yeah, blind yep. tiger, same Friday, thir- and then Thursday she opened up. We got her up on that uh, at the roast down there. She opened up that roast. That was fucking awesome. She opened up for a roast, which made it really set the stage for the dark comedy to come. Hell yeah. And our homeboy Scott kind of uh, made fun of a blind guy and got in trouble or something. <laughs> <laughs> we missed it, but we, we heard that's what happened. I guess maybe that guy didn't see that joke coming. <laughs> yeah, he, and he kept digging in, and it was just like worse and worse. <laughs> I wish we could have saw that. <laughs> What's your worst set you've ever had? Oh, uh, Orlando. Orlando. I stepped. Orlando? Yep, my first time. I stepped on the mic. The the it messed up the mic. Cord came out. Yep, cord came out. I got heckled, had no response, and I'm like, yeah, this kind of sucks right now. And then I might have had tomatoes thrown at me before. <laughs> I do like Italian women though. So was this at a place where there's a lot of tomatoes around, or somebody just brought tomatoes? Uh, I was my friends. <laughs> <laughs> There needs to be a tomato show, comedy show, right? Is yeah. that like the Renaissance Fair? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got great friends. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, definitely, you know, loving the vibes out here, meeting everybody, meeting new people, eating all the food truck food, just having fun. It's a great place. Come and visit. And also, I love Phoenix. I can't wait to go back. Can't go back can't not wait to go back. Oh, I thought you said I can't really go back. I got priors or something. <laughs> uh, not this time. That was Florida. I have finished that shit. Uh, at least uh, Arizona has weed legal, so that's always a good thing. <laughs> I guess have uh, an ounce of weed and sell it to a CI. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't just smoke it, huh? Yeah, I was trying to smoke her titties because they're big boobies. <laughs> she, she lured you in. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking of my other belly instead of my brain. <laughs> <laughs> you signed up again, right? How do you think your luck is this week for getting uh, up? Hopefully, man. They said I had a good set last time and I had a great interview. So Taking up all the yeah, luck def- over here. Definitely. I was nervous. <laughs> this time I pissed eight times. You guys come out here. Definitely pee before you go in the fucking alley. So uh, that's a big thing. Piss Alley right here. Yeah, Piss Alley. You need to get the urinals out here in the alley. Yeah, I was just thinking about why don't they have a porter potty right there? Dude, that trough. line for the porter potty be like fucking like, going to Disneyland. Yeah. Yeah. Coke <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing cocaine off the toilet seat again? Fuck. All right. Well, Hector, I'm going to get out of here and smoke a cigarette. All right, bro. Cecilia, I love you guys. West Valley, everybody. Love you all. All right. Peace. Thanks for hopping on, bro. Put the blue one down. Yeah. So the hunt for the ladybird killer is on, and we still haven't found any more leads. We might have left Alice in a box truck. <laughs> with the box truck killer. Unrelated killer. Oh, yeah. We just told her to put her location on, but that's just so we could see when she died. She never turned her location on. She must have felt... She wants to die. <laughs> she prefers. Oh, and shout out to AV again, because she fucking destroyed the roast. Hell yeah, the battle roast, Corpus Christi battle roast. She fucking spanked their asses so hard, it was beautiful. She left the finalists, like, stunned. He didn't know what to say. We, we ran into him here. He's in the alley over there waiting. Ryan, he was a... Uh, uh, it's hard to be mean to a to an innocent little girl like Alice. <laughs> she looks like she just got out of the Girl Scouts. <laughs> um, yeah, no, some drunken yelled like when they asked who won, it was clearly Alice, but some drunken bitch was like Texas. Yeah, yeah, they turned it into a state thing. 